Today's tip is an answer, well I already answered this person's question, but it is an answer to one of the questions that was emailed to me. And the question was, how do you import addresses into numbers with your own custom fields? I'll show you what the problem is. So I'm in address book and I have my work group, I have John Doe and Sally Simple. And I'll drag these two addresses right over here to this table. I want to get a hold of them. There we go. I'll drag them over, drop them, and if we hide address book, we will see quite clearly that it has John Doe phone numbers, email addresses. Um, it doesn't have the parents field because I didn't fill that in. Fill that in. And it doesn't have notes. Now there's a lot more to these people. Uh, for example, John Doe and Sly Simple. They both have two email addresses. They both have two home addresses, well, home address and work address, and they don't have parents or notes that I put down. So how do I customize this? Well, I went digging around and I found this solution. First of all, what you have to do is you have to delete this table right here. So we'll select it and delete it. Now go back to your address book and drag, I'm having that same problem again. There we go. Drag the two addresses into I'm trying to move it. There we go. Drag the two addresses into numbers. Well, if you have any more, you can do any more, but I'm only using two. And if you look again, you'll notice it has last name, first name, phone, and email. Now these are poorly sized things, but that's okay. Um, like I said, there's a lot more to these people than just a phone and an email. They also have two addresses, etc. So what we'll do is we will select the table, and we'll go to Table, Unhide All Columns. Now I'm going to unhit all the columns, and as you can tell, there's lots of them. Most of these we do not need. So what I'll do is I'll go through, and I'll delete all the ones we don't need. We don't need that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Main phone, home phone, home fax, work fax, pager. I should delete these. It's not letting me delete the columns. So I'll delete these, delete column, select these, delete columns, select this one. Now make sure that you select, in my first take of this movie I was selecting columns and I wasn't selecting columns but rather I was just clicking on the ones and deleting them which selected other columns and I was deleting columns I didn't want to. So this is actually my second take of the movie. Ooh, behind the scenes stuff. So eventually, once you delete all these excess columns, which obviously I do not need, I need to fill these in. These are actually all the things that you could have filled in on a person. That's a lot of information. Or else that person is just way too much information on them. I actually put in some fun stuff for this, like John Doe, or Sally Sample, I don't remember which, uh, lives at two infinite loops in Cupertino, California. There we go. So we deleted all our columns, finally. And I'll drag back. Uh, we didn't delete this one. And uh, we didn't delete these. So now that we deleted all our columns, it's in a much more manageable format. And we have last name, first name, phone, work phone, mobile, email, work email, home email, address, work address, and home address. So there's all your so that's how you import addresses into numbers. I hope you enjoy this tip and I hope that you'll find it useful.
Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.